People ask me, so what's the lesson of Europe? What's the lesson of the Eurozone? My answer has always been more integration here, not less. But it has to be a smart integration. We know that integration can bring tremendous potential and opportunities. But we also know that we are exposed to each other's problems. So we have to be very deliberative, we have to be cautious, and we have to be very, very thorough and careful. We are not making jump and leap into the future when we are not certain about it. So ASEAN is an attractive market, two trillion US dollars combined GDP, and we trade with each other more and more. Still, the figure is low. 48, 50% in the case of NAFTA, Mexico, the US, and Canada. 65, 68 among the 27 members of the EU. For ASEAN, it's hovering between 25, 26, 24 and a half. For an economic community to be established, we need to expand that figure. And where would that figure come from? How to increase that figure? If Thailand believes in itself, it has to believe in the environment that it is situated in ASEAN. I want to see the private sector, the medium, the small size enterprises cross borders to invest in the rest of the ASEAN countries. Because that's the only way we can create jobs, only way we can create more income. That's the only way we can help each other grow. Thailand and every ASEAN country have adopted one strategy and this strategy is known to all, that in the age of global, global world, globalized world, an economy cannot only grow within itself. Much like Japan has realized, much of the GDP of Japan has come from abroad. Much like South Korea has realized, must, much like many countries in Europe have realized, they have to grow outside of their own economies. 65 million in Thailand, compared to 600 million in Asia, with the resources and the comparative advantages and the unique features of each economy within ASEAN, it is much better to have that market rather than confining ourselves, yourselves, here only in Thailand. So it is heartening to open up the nation reviews, first, second, and third pages, or the Bangkok Post for that matter, I'm not advertising anyone, or the regional papers that more global transnational companies are relocating their regional headquarters into ASEAN proper. Many have changed their names. ASEAN department. Many have located into Bangkok, into Singapore, into KL, into other capitals of ASEAN because they believe in that potentiality of ASEAN. So if Thailand wants to attract, Thailand will have to show that it also has confidence within the larger landscape of ASEAN because it is becoming integrated, it is becoming one. We do believe that if we continue to encourage our private sector to cross borders. If we continue to encourage and support 
and the Bank of National Banks, Bank of Thailand, Monetary Authority of Singapore, Bank of Indonesia will have to support the private sector and the small and the medium-sized industry to cross borders to explore potential and possibilities out there. More of the opportunities that have been created within ASEAN are being utilized, are being taken advantage of by transnational corporations than the small and medium-sized and even national companies within ASEAN. We can't blame them. Because if we are open, we are open for all. This is an open regionalism. An automobile company came from Bangkok to visit me in Jakarta and said, we benefit from your integration, from your FTA, from your AEC. We export more finished products. We import more from all the 10 ASEAN countries, more of the parts that we want to assemble in Thailand. And many other transnational companies are claiming the same thing. The question is that 25, 26% of intra-ASEAN trade need to be increased by ASEAN national companies, ASEAN medium and small size companies because it's them, it's they, the small and medium sized companies who contributed much more income into the national coffer because it's they who created more employment than others. So, as I said, this is not an exercise of confidence building. It has to be an exercise of confidence projection. 